In complex analysis, a discipline within mathematics, the residue theorem, sometimes called Cauchy's residue theorem, is a powerful tool to evaluate line integrals of analytic functions over closed curves. It can often be used to compute real integrals and infinite series as well. It generalizes the Cauchy integral theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. From a geometrical perspective, it is a special case of the generalized Stokes theorem. Topic statement: The statement is as follows. Let U be a simply connected open subset of the complex plane containing a finite list of points a1, an, and f a function defined and holomorphic on U a1, an. Let γ be a closed rectifiable curve in U which does not meet any of the ACK, and denote the winding number of γ around ACK by I gamma, ACK. The line integral of F around γ is equal to 2 pi I times the sum of residues of F at the points, each counted as many times as γ wins around the point γ F Z D Z, Z equals Two Pi I K equals one N I Gamma A K Res F A K Display style oint underscore gamma f z d z equals two pi i sum underscore k equals one carrot n operator name i gamma a underscore k operator name res f a underscore k. If gamma is a positively oriented simple closed curve, i gamma ack equals one if ack is in the interior of gamma and zero if not. So gamma f z D Z equals two Pi I Res F A K Display style oint underscore gamma F Z D Z equals two Pi I sum operator name res F A underscore K with the sum over those ack inside gamma. The relationship of the residue theorem to Stokes' theorem is given by the Jordan curve theorem. The general plane curve γ must first be reduced to a set of simple closed curves gamma I whose total is equivalent to γ for integration purposes. This reduces the problem to finding the integral of f dz along a Jordan curve γ I with interior v. The requirement that f be holomorphic on U0. Topic U ack is equivalent to the statement that the exterior derivative d f d z zero on U zero. Thus, if two planar regions V and W of U enclose the same subset A J of ack, the regions V W and W V lie entirely in U zero, and hence V W d f D Z minus W V D F D Z Display style int underscore V small set minus W D F D Z int underscore W small set minus V D F D Z is well defined and equal to zero. Consequently, the contour integral of f d z along gamma j equals v is equal to the sum of a set of integrals along paths lambda j, each enclosing an arbitrarily small region around a single a j. The residues of f up to the conventional factor two pi i at a j. Summing over gamma j, we recover the final expression of the contour integral in terms of the winding numbers i gamma ack. 
In order to evaluate real integrals, the residue theorem is used in the following manner, the integrand is extended to the complex plane and its residues are computed which is usually easy, and a part of the real axis is extended to a closed curve by attaching a half circle in the upper or lower half plane, forming a semicircle. The integral over this curve can then be computed using the residue theorem. Often, the half-circle part of the integral will tend towards zero as the radius of the half-circle grows, leaving only the real axis part of the integral, the one we were originally interested in. Examples <laughs> 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 An integral along the real axis The integral minus infinity infinity E I T X X two plus one D X Display style int underscore inf t carrot inf t frac e carrot i t x x carrot two plus one d x arises in probability theory when calculating the characteristic function of the Cauchy distribution. It resists the techniques of elementary calculus, but can be evaluated by expressing it as a limit of contour integrals. Suppose t greater than zero and define the contour c that goes along the real line from minus a to a and then counterclockwise along a semicircle centered at zero from a to minus a. Take a to be greater than one, so that the imaginary unit i is enclosed within the curve. Now consider the contour integral c f z d z, z equals C E I T Z Z two plus one D Z Display style int underscore C F Z D Z equals int underscore C frac E carrot I T Z Z carrot two plus one D Z since its is an entire function having no singularities at any point in the complex plane, this function has singularities only where the denominator z2 plus 1 is zero. Since z2 plus 1 z plus i, z minus i, that happens only where z i or z equals minus i. Only one of those points is in the region bounded by this contour. Because f z is e i t z z 2 plus 1 equals e i t z 2 i one Z minus I minus one Z plus I equals E I T Z two I Z minus I minus e i t z two i z plus i display style begin aligned frac e carrot i t z z carrot two plus one and equals frac e carrot i t z two i left frac one z i frac one z plus i right and equals frac e carrot i t z two i z i frac e carrot i t z two i z plus i end aligned the residue of f z at z equals i is res z equals i f Z equals E minus T two I display style operator name res limits underscore Z equals I F Z equals frac E carrot T two I 
According to the residue theorem, then, we have C F Z D Z equals two Pi I res Z equals I F Z equals two Pi I E minus T two I equals Pi E minus T Display style int underscore C F Z D Z equals two Pi I C D O T operator name res limits underscore Z equals I F Z equals two Pi I frac E carrot T two I equals Pi E carrot T The contour C may be split into a straight part and a curved arc, so that S T R A I G H T F Z D Z plus A R C F Z D Z equals Pi E Minus T display style int underscore mathrm straight f z d z plus int underscore mathrm arc f z d z equals pi e caret t, and thus minus a a f z d z equals pi E minus T minus A R C F Z D Z Display style int underscore a carrot a f z d z equals pi e carrot t int underscore mathrm arc f z d z Using some estimations, we have A R C E I T Z Z two plus one D Z Pi A sub arc E I T Z Z two plus one Pi a sub arc one Z two plus one Pi A A Two minus one display style left int underscore mathrm arc frac e carrot i t z z carrot two plus one d z right l e q pi r c d o t sub underscore text arc left frac e carrot i t z z carrot two plus one right l e q pi r c d o t sub underscore text arc frac one z carrot two plus one l e q frac pi a a carrot two minus one and lim a infinity pi a a 2 minus 1 equals 0 Display style lim underscore a two inf t frac pi a a carrot 2 minus 1 equals 0 
the estimate on the numerator follows since t greater than zero, and for complex numbers z along the arc, which lies in the upper plane, the argument phi of z lies between zero and pi. So e i t z equals e i t z cos phi plus i sin phi equals e minus t z sin phi plus i t z cos phi equals E minus T Z sin phi one Display style left e carrot i t z right equals left e carrot it z cos phi plus i sin phi right equals left e carrot t z sin phi plus i t z cos phi right equals e carrot t z sin phi l e q one. Therefore, minus infinity infinity e I T Z Z two plus one D Z equals Pi E minus T Display style int underscore inf t carrot inf t frac e carrot i t z z carrot two plus one d z equals pi e carrot t. If t minus infinity infinity e i t z z two plus one d z equals pi e t. Display style int underscore inf t carrot inf t frac e carrot i t z z carrot two plus one d z equals pi e carrot t. And finally, we have minus infinity infinity e i t z z two plus one d z equals pi e minus t. Display style int underscore inf t carrot inf t frac e carrot i T Z Z carrot two plus one D Z equals Pi E carrot left T right. If T equals zero then the integral yields immediately to elementary calculus methods and its value is Pi equals Topic An infinite sum equals the fact that pi cot pi z has simple poles with residue one at each integer can be used to compute the sum n equals minus infinity infinity f n display style display style sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t f n Consider, for example, f z equals z minus two. Let gamma n be the rectangle that is the boundary of minus n minus one half n plus one half two with positive orientation, with an integer n by the residue formula one two pi i gamma n f z pi cot pi z d z equals res z equals 0 plus n equals minus n n does not equal 0 n n minus 2 
Display style frac one two pi i int underscore gamma underscore n f z pi cot pi z d z equals operator name res limits underscore z equals zero plus sum underscore n equals n atop n n e q zero carrot n n carrot minus two. The left hand side goes to zero as n infinity since the integrand has order o n minus two. On the other hand. Z two cot Z two equals one minus B two Z two two plus B two equals one six Display style frac z two cot left frac z two right equals one b underscore two frac z carrot two two plus c d o t s q quad b underscore two equals frac one six. In fact, z two cot z two. Topic is one minus e minus is minus is two. Thus, the residue R E S Z zero is minus pi two thirds. We conclude n equals one infinity one n two equals pi two six Display style sum underscore n equals one carrot inf t frac one n carrot two equals frac pi carrot two six which is a proof of the Basel problem. The same trick can be used to establish Pi cot Pi Z equals Lim N infinity N equals minus N N Z minus N minus one Display style pi cot pi z equals lim underscore n two inf t sum underscore n equals n carrot n z n carrot minus one that is, the Eisenstein series. We take f z equals w minus z minus one with w a non-integer, and we shall show the above for w. The difficulty in this case is to show the vanishing of the contour integral at infinity. We have gamma n pi cot pi z z d z equals zero display style int underscore gamma underscore n frac pi cot pi z z dz equals zero since the integrand is an even function and so the contributions from the contour in the left half plane and the contour in the right cancel each other out thus gamma n f Z pi cot pi z d z equals gamma n one w minus z plus one z pi cot Pi Z D Z Display style int underscore gamma underscore N F Z pi cot pi Z D Z equals int underscore gamma underscore N left frac one W Z plus frac one Z right pi cot pi Z D Z goes to zero as N infinity. See also 
Cauchy's integral formula Glass's master theorem Jordan's lemma Methods of contour integration Morera's theorem Nachman's theorem Residue at infinity Logarithmic form <laughs>